the Human Terrain System was an United States Army training and doctrine command support program employing personnel from the social science disciplines a circumflex such as anthropology, sociology, political science, regional studies and linguistics a circumflex to provide military commanders and staff with an understanding of the local population in the regions in which they are deployed. The concept of HTS was first developed in a paper by Montgomery McFate and Andrea Jackson in 2005, which proposed a pilot version of the project as a response to identified gaps in commanders and staff's understanding of the local population and culture, such as became particularly visible during the U.S. invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan. HTS was subsequently launched as a proof-of-concept program, run by the United States Army Training and Doctrine Command. In February 2007, with five HTS teams deployed between Iraq and Afghanistan. Since 2007, HTS has grown from a program with five deployed teams, and a $20 million two-year budget to one with 31 deployed teams and a $150 million annual budget. HTS became a permanent U.S. Army program in 2010. Ever since its launch, HTS has been surrounded by controversy. While the program initially received a lot of positive coverage in the U.S. media, it quickly became the subject of heavy criticism a circumflex particularly from anthropologists, but also from journalists military officials and HTS personnel and former personnel. Most notably, on 31 October 2007, the Executive Board of the American Anthropological Association published a statement opposing HTS as an unacceptable application of anthropological expertise that conflicted with the AAA's Code of Ethics. Following the publication of a report on HTS by the Commission on Engagement of Anthropology with the U.S. Security and Intelligence Services in 2009, the AAA released a further statement of disapproval, which they reiterated in 2012 after rumors that the controversy had died down. The program evolved into a mechanism for supporting security force assistance. The program ended operations on September 30, 2014. In the most immediate sense, HTS was developed as a response to concerns about mismanagement of U.S. military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, and, in particular, to the negative effects of recognized deficiencies in U.S. military cultural understanding of these countries. However, Military analysts and academics have also suggested earlier historical contexts for the program's development. A number of military officials have invoked civil operations, and rural development support a circumflex a counterinsurgency program developed by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War a circumflex as a precedent for HTS. Colon 144 in a foundational article on HTS, a group of military analysts, Kip et al. described the program as a cause for the 21st century. Their article appraised cords as a successful and effective program that was premised on a belief that the war would ultimately be won or lost not on the battlefield but in the struggle for the loyalty of the people. Kip et al. contended that the only major problems with the cords program were that it lacked adequate reachback facilities and was started too late and ended too soon. As such they argued that it provided many important lessons to guide the development of HTS as an effective cultural intelligence program that could support tactical and operational level commanders today. Colon 10 a circumflex 11 by contrast, critics of HTS have drawn attention to the fact that, in Vietnam, CORDS was run in conjunction with the Phoenix program, which used information gathered through CORDS in its effort to neutralize supporters of the Viet Cong. The concept of human terror in has been defined in military documents pertaining to HTS as the human population in the operational environment, as defined and characterized by socio-cultural, anthropologic, and ethnographic data and other non-geographical information. 15 According to Roberto Jagan's Arles, 
This concept can be traced back to a 1968 report by the House of Un-American Activities Committee about the perceived threat of the Black Panthers and other militant groups. He argues that the concept gradually gained in popularity and usage, in the military and elsewhere, through the writing of military officials, such as Ralph Peters, and pundits, such as Max Boot.